right, this is going to be a two-player game of the island of Dr. Lucky. And uh, Orange will be the first player to play a hazard. And they will uh, use that to their advantage to prevent their opponent from ever taking a turn again. And they'll also be able to draw the entire deck uh, without their opponent being able to take a turn. And some other stuff to make sure that they win. In this setup, we have normal player orange going first, and then green stranger, normal player blue, and then purple stranger. Alright, so orange for his very first turn, just to quickly demonstrate the hazard of hazards, is uh, orange plays a plains terrain hazard on Dr. Lucky, and we're going to pretend that uh, blue defends with this failure card. So orange now has two movement points each turn. Okay, orange's turn is over. Doctor moves up. Stranger green turn. Green moves down. Doctor moves up. It is blue's turn. It doesn't really matter a whole lot what they do. They are already doomed because orange played a hazard card. So. Uh, let's just pretend that blue moves here, or blue could have played a hazard card, doesn't matter. Doctor moves up, purple stranger moves down, doctor moves up. Orange has two move points, so orange goes 1, 2 to 20. Doctor activates orange. Orange to 21, Doctor to 21, Orange to 22, Doctor to 22, Orange moves to 24, Doctor activates Purple, Purple cannot attack and therefore moves down. So that was Purple's turn, so the next person in turn order is Orange, so when Doctor moves up here it is Orange that is activated, so Blue doesn't get a turn and uh, orange moves up, doctor follows, orange moves up, doctor follows. Alright, here's where the looting starts. Orange uses two move points to move to six. Uh, the cat is making it so that green cannot see, so orange draws a card. Doctor moves up, Stranger moves down, Doctor activates Orange, Orange has two movement points so they can easily use one movement point for this, another movement point for that, the Stranger is no obstacle, Doctor activates Orange again, Orange, when Orange moves here he can draw a card, uh, we can do maybe one more, 12 to 14, draw a card, doctor moves up, green moves down, doctor moves up, and let's just doctor ride to, to 21, and orange can use two movement points. One for this, another one for that. Orange's turn again. Orange moves to here. Doctor activates purple, cannot attack, moves down. Again, orange gets activated. And this should seem very familiar. And we can continue this an unlimited number of times. And the green stranger is no obstacle. And orange can draw the entire deck. And then once that stops being fun, uh, orange can arrange things, because every time that they can move like this to this, they can use move one point and then use the other move point to move a stranger. And they can also have it to where, also pretend this is just somewhere else, they can also have it to where it's orange's turn, so orange, one, two. Okay, so it was, it was Orange's turn, so when Doctor goes to here, the Doctor will activate the next person, 
which is green. So green takes a turn. And then the doctor activates orange and blue again has not been able to take a turn. And we can also have it to where purple is arranged. For instance, if purple was over here, you know, it's easy to do that. What we can do is have it to where uh, for this turn, we'll just uh, have this and, oh, well, we'd have to, you know, Green's down. Okay, uh, purple is able to attack and it would be up to blue to uh, defend primarily. Okay, purple took a turn. It's now orange's turn. So uh, orange moves purple to eight. Doctor moves up. Purple attacks. It'll be up to uh, normal player blue to primarily defend. Otherwise they would uh, lose if they refuse to play any clover cards and so you can also reduce uh, normal player blue to having no cards at all and then orange has the entire deck and will be able to do in a very strong attack at a region of their choice winning the game